Hi everyone, this is just continuing what we were looking at with the journal since it's, it is finished. So here we have another pocket. I uh, might have already done this page but I was interrupted so forgive me for repeating myself. We made a belly band out of this short one here with a long tag. Now when I do my journals, all of them, not just these lap books, I always use at least three digital kits and then now that I've got a program or two programs actually, one for my iPad and one for the computer, I digitally alter some of the pictures and make my own digitals when I'm making the journals. So I might have already done this one but this is a flip up. So we've got a large tag in there. And underneath we've got uh, another small tuck. Some beautiful uh, applique ribbon here that it's not sequins, it's just metallic uh, ribbon that's been twisted or whatever that came from Spotlight actually. Uh, the little felt rows that come from the dollar stores as did these hearts. I decorated the tag within the pocket. Some more of the stick-on uh, ribbon which come from the dollar store. Here we have another pocket with a bit of crochet lace. Another one of the long tags and we have on there a fussy cut clip art lady. Beautiful ribbon tie there. That's just on the seam. And then that opens up to another page where that was glued to a corner pocket with another applique lady uh, collaged with some music paper and a number and a bit of lace some decorative stitching on the new sewing machine and into a corner tuck and opens up to another tag that's a belly band with a splash of purple written on it because she's mainly purple and another tag within a tuck, some writing space in there and more of that beautiful metallic purple ribbon. Over here we have more writing space and we have a butterfly that's stuck on there. We've got a beautiful extended page just here with more of that beautiful applique sequined ribbon. Another another tuck with a large tag and on the reverse we've got more writing space and a large one of those tags with some beautiful stitching from my new sewing machine and a tuck with a beautiful tag on there with a glass bead to show it off. And on the next page we have another pocket with a beautiful card. On the opposing side we've got some more of that beautiful glitter 
washi tape and then it opens up to another beautiful portrait within the leaf there and that beautiful washi tape and that gorgeous purple flower has been stapled on there and an envelope that's been fixed on this side that says kindness so we'll flip up the envelope opens out it does it does have a tag within it but I've left it so that you can take that out and use the inside of the tag as writing space and then you have writing space on the back of the page as well so we've got another beautiful one of those short belly band tucks and a gorgeous collage tag with music paper and a clip art lady and on this side we've got another piece of beautiful silk leaf that's been stapled and another one of those beautiful little flowers which opens up and look at that look at that beautiful white and silver lace just edging that page it's absolutely gorgeous and we open up to another pocket with a beautiful collage tag and that folds back and we'll look at the other side we've got a flip up pocket here which I haven't glued and so you can write in it and another tag over here in a tuck space it's been collaged with more writing space large pocket over on this side with a huge tag and a lot more writing space and some more of that gorgeous white and silver lace and that flips over to another pocket with the tag that has a flip down and I, I don't know whether you can see that anyway we've got another pocket up here with another tag and then over this side we've got a short folded page with another one of the envelopes that has a tag within it so you can open that up and you have extra writing space within there unless somebody knows that it's not an envelope it's a secret space some more of that beautiful metallic lace there here we have another just tuck that in the right way that was the end by the way that was the end of the first signature so now we're into the second signature and we have some beautiful little charms this is a flower charm with little fake diamonds in there it's a flower with a pearl and the second signature has a heart that's filled with little diamantes so into the second signature we've got a beautiful pocket there the beautiful um, violet lace that goes across there and another lovely tag that's got writing space on the back of it now this is pretty easy to do uh, when you print your tags out you can choose to on the reverse if it's if it's the 250 gram cardstock you can print on the other side one of your uh, digitals that you've got license for that has writing space on the reverse side so you know you've got 
your, your stiff cardstock with your printed page on that side and on the reverse without having to seal it with coffee dyed or tea dyed paper or um, what I use usually is manila folders but that looks really nice with the, the stitching and you've got the lines there and everything so it, it's very effective so that is an extended page too the join is just here so we've got a really large tag within a small corner pocket and some crochet ribbon more of that silver and white lace and we've got a collage tag we've got a collage tag with a clip art lady some of the lace that's featured within it uh, vintage news, news <laughs> sorry vintage music paper and number and one of the kept digital tags that come with it and then on the reverse we have another digital which I've done some dot metallic dot pen uh, I don't know how to explain it line along there and it's it's quite nice actually it shimmers in the light it's very nice it just finishes off that blunt edge that's on the edge of the digital that's there that's where we have the glued uh, page another one of the silk leaves with the paper flower and here we have another tuck and we have another collage tag which inserts in there so we fold her back up more of the metallic lace a little cut out butterfly and another one of the flip up pockets that haven't been glued together with a tag inside just for extra writing space, secrets, whatever you want to put in there. And this is just a plain page and that's the other end of the, the lip of the envelope. Then we've got another small flip here with a lovely child in a pocket, with a, as a pocket. And we've got another lovely collage tag that inserts in there beautiful I love this new sewing machine that I've got with the different stitches it's absolutely beautiful on the reverse side we've got another tag in a tuck space she tucks under like that then we've got another page here with another silk leaf and paper flower that's been glued down another tuck with a small tag with writing space and she expands out to even more writing space beautiful digitals and then the reverse side we have some more of that uh, stick on ribbon it just came from the dollar store and I didn't even realize it was stick on but it's beautiful because it was purple it's purple with the green and it's exactly what I wanted for this book it really is uh, another fussy cut tuck space with a small tag she opens up even further oh, no. uh, I'm sure that folds out further yeah it does there we go so we've got another small tuck space with a small tag another fussy cut lady and a portrait picture so we've done that one 
and here we have some more cotton ribbon with a bird and leaf print with some road space another extended page well it's not extended actually it's just one of those that have been lengthened and shortened with a corner pocket and a collaged tag and on this side we've got another piece of that ribbon and the washi tape the glitter washi tape some of the offcuts from the digitals are used as a belly band and inserted one of the little two page booklets another pocket with some of the beautiful glass uh, colored glass uh, elements there another beautiful tag inserted then we have another pocket with a large one of those tags another silk leaf and paper flower that have been added to the page another one of the purple flowers and green ribbon for highlighting not in the fold this is this is one of the opportunities to use in this type of well this lap book this style of lap book my style is you can use these smaller tucks or uh, uh, tags and use them for tuck spots or whatever and use them for the smaller ephemera so that when you when you open up the fold like that's an extension you open it up and you go oh didn't know that was there you know it's a, it's a big surprise look at the size of that page it's gorgeous because it's been extended just there and we put the ribbon on there see then we have a little tuck spot with a small tag on that that's the reverse with a small pocket and another collage tag then we have the next page with which is another extended page and it has been extended just there where that beautiful green washi tape is with a flip and underneath we've got a lovely uh, tag that's been glued just on either end to make a belly band with a large tag to go in there and here we have another large uh, envelope actually that's being fastened by a paper clip and a charm so you can open that up and you've got more writing space there may be a tag within that too we've got a tuck spot and another tag there and on the reverse we can see that we've got the lip of the envelope where the charm paper clip goes and we've got a gold heart there just to accentuate and on this side we've got another tuck space with a collage tag beautiful ribbon to accentuate the colors Here we have another extended page. We've got a tuck space with another another tag, which opens down in a downward flip. That is basically blank, except for the tag there that says pansies. And on the other side, we have another pocket with a tag. 
And on this side we've got a belly band with another two page card. More of that beautiful stick on ribbon. Another two page card. Plenty of writing space. Some beautiful lace that I found at Lifeline. This has been used a bit throughout this uh, lap book. We have another a tag that's been turned into a belly band and a tag that inserts in there another small flip turning into a large flip so we have another pocket and a large tag over here we have another we have another one of the envelopes with a paper clip which you can open up, hide a secret message in and clip it back to the page. And on the opposing side you can see the paper clip there. There's a belly band here that you can put a piece of, well it's actually glued in the middle so you can put two pieces of ephemera of your own in there. A shortened page that has some lace on it with jacaranda flowers and some beautiful forget-me-nots. And on this side we've got another upward flip with a pocket and another two-page booklet. And on this side we've got another pocket and another lovely tag. Flips over, we've got another pocket with a collage tag, one of the shortened pages, another one, and then here we have another beautiful tuck spot with another tag in there. And over this other side, we have another tag that's been turned into a tuck spot and two of the glass uh, baubles that have been put on there and two tags inserted in there another silk flower and felt rose and some more of that beautiful ribbon on this extended page so we have another pocket with another tag and another tag as well and underneath we've got the seam where the pages were joined with that beautiful stick-on ribbon. And over the page on the reverse we've got a beautiful piece of violet ribbon to go with the green. Some more of the silk leaves with the paper flower. And there's the seam of the page. It's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> Depends on how well you do it. Only joking. Anyway, we've got these are the pages that were crooked. So I put a piece of violet ribbon up there, and it's been folded into a kite shape. So we've got another little pocket here which closes and then just folds over just like that. And then we've got another, the short fold here with some more of that beautiful metallic mint and mid green colour and a thin belly band with another two page booklet with some more of the glass bubbles that are stuck on there. Then over the other page we have another belly band which I've stuck down and added two beautiful gold hearts and we've got a semi collaged tag there with a fussy cut lady underneath and here we have another one of those tags, the pages that have been folded and another one that's been stuck down to the last page and made a pocket 
with one of the long tags and you see how your mistakes turn into something intriguing it just it's of interest these are the last pages in this signature and it is it it's just it's magical as far as I'm concerned I don't know what your opinion is but inside that the last page fold we have another pocket and we have collage tag with another fussy cut lady and she folds over and the last pictures that you see is another small belly band with everything you can imagine is real and there we go there's the seam where the page join is with a fussy cut lady and this is virtually finished except I'm going to make two booklets one for this side which will be in there and then on this the front side I'm going to do another paper pocket here and I'm going to insert a booklet in there as well and so that is virtually your journey through my journey of making a lap book out of an A4 binder. I hope you enjoyed watching what I have done and as I said it's not easy it takes practice but don't be discouraged by mistakes because they're all opportunities to make something better so look out for this on the Etsy store of mine I have a website which is www.treesofchange.store which is through Etsy or my Etsy page which is Trees of Change I'm also on Facebook which is Junk Journals by Tr Trees of Change so I'll put more information up with the video at the end and I hope you really enjoyed watching me doing a tutorial on something that nobody else has done before so thank you very much for your patience your kindness and I hope that you will like and subscribe and tell everybody about something that you haven't seen before thank you for watching bye